All right, today we're going to be doing a series of speed tests on these two devices. On the left, we have the iPad 3 running on Verizon's 4G LTE network. And on the right, the just released iPhone 5, also on Verizon's 4G, 4G LTE network. Uh, I've been using it over the weekend, just picked it up on Friday, and uh, the 4G speeds that I see uh, are, are pretty great. But there are a few discrepancies in the speeds that both of these devices see, and so I wanted to show that off. So for this test, we're going to be using the speedtest.net app. We're not going to configure a server or the closest one. We're going to let the app take care of that. And we're just going to run the test squared away. And I'm going to leave the tape rolling for uh, these, these tests just so you get a feel for uh, the conditions between both back to back, as well as just to make sure that they're both at the exact same time in the exact same place so that environmental variables uh, aren't at all part of the equation. So there we go, first result back, 136 millisecond uh, response on the ping test, that's our latency. Download side, 8.84, just shy of 9 megabits per second download. On the upload, blazing fast, 21.03, pretty solid. Let's run it one more time, again, same, same configurations, a little bit faster latency response on that, but uh, looks like just a little bit less on the speed side, there we go. 8.18, not quite as fast on the upload that time around, 12.90. All right, so let's go ahead and set this aside and move to the iPhone. Again, this isn't a scientific test, but we're going to do our best to keep everything the same. Speedtest.net app, and uh, we're not going to configure for the closest set or server. We're going to let the app do that. Here we go. One sixty-eight millisecond response time for latency, eight point five eight down, five point six one up. So let's let's just do it one more time. Just to make sure that our results are consistent. The big difference isn't in download. Uh, for me, at least from what I've experienced so far, mid eights, low nines even, pretty consistent there on both devices. And, and the same is true for this test, eight point three seven. The big difference that I've seen is on the upload side. Uh, the first test on the iPad we saw uh, 21, the second test that we saw was a 12 and some change. Both of these finished, let's see, 6.08 on that last one, 5.61 on the test before that. So uh, hardly impressive, I guess you'd say, uh, as far as what our expectations are on the upload side on the iPhone, uh, especially when compared just before that and right next to the iPad 3 that saw a speed you know, roughly three times that, a little over three times that. All in all, I'd say the results are good. The speed is good uh, on the iPhone 5. I'm happy with it, and uh, you probably will be too. Let me know in the comments down below what speeds you're seeing, where you're at, what network you're using, uh, if this is pretty consistent from your results, or if, you, uh, or if you're seeing better or lower uh, across the board. I'm at my Z06Vet on Twitter, and uh, you can also subscribe to my blog, MikeBochamp.me. Thanks for watching.